tutorial and this one is uh, about the architect Calabash architecture so let's look at how Calabash is organized and what are the various communications that are happening behind the scene and and also what the languages involved and how the feature file communicate with the step definitions and how that internally communicate with the actual device for that we need to understand few steps few things so uh, let's look at the first uh, first look at the six steps that are involved in installing Calabash the first one is Moving to the moving to the project directory, and after that, install Calabash Cucumber. Yeah, it might require some additional uh, permissions, pseudo permissions. And third one is Calabash iOS setup. This is the step where Calabash framework is being added to the actual project. Let's look at that in Xcode. Yeah, this is how my test test rod is my project, and Calabash framework is being added onto my project in here. Calabash test product hyphen cal is this target that's created which which runs with the Calabash framework added you can also verify that Calabash framework is added in here using the link of flags yeah look at here and look at this one Calabash framework is being added in here okay this is the confirmation the next step is looking at Calabash iOS gen this command creates a set of a default set of feature file and also create some step definitions for it and it will almost look like in here features folder step definitions support my first feature I've, I've, I've written some basic steps to run this but otherwise it will look something similar to this and feature files will have step definitions feature file is written in gherkin and feature file is uh, cucumber uh, cucumber is the language Gherkin is the syntax and step definitions are written in Ruby. It might it look something like this. So how many steps are remaining? Okay. Okay. So with this understanding, we know that what are the languages used at what stages of writing this framework. So let's go to my PowerPoint which I prepared okay this is the overview which shows that what languages are used at what parts of this uh, calabash architecture cucumber with the gherkin syntax is used to write feature files ruby 1.9.3 that's what is preferred uh, there's uh, mac comes with default 1.8.7 or something like that i would prefer you to upgrade it to 1.9.3 and objective c this is used for writing iphone applications and Calabash framework, it it handles the HTTP servers, and we are not we are not too much worried about it. It's been already written and handled, so no need to worry much. Let's go to the next part. Let's look at the overall architecture, what we should understand, and what we we must know from the application testing perspective. So Mac is the machine on which the whole Ruby is installed. Step definitions are written, compiled, and run. iPhone. It is the target. It could be iPhone simulator or iPhone device. Okay. First, we write our feature files. Then we compile them. It might it throws error that these steps are not defined. Then we go and define the step definitions in Ruby. And there is this two-way communication happening and uh, one-way communication happening between feature files and Ruby. And when you run it from command line, definitely there will be command send and received, and that will show on your command line. But yeah, in feature files, whatever you write in feature files, that will be interpreted onto your Ruby 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 step definitions. Okay, this is what's happening on your uh, mo uh, mobile side, basically on the simulator or on the device. Calabash framework is added on using the Calabash hyphen iOS setup command. This Calabash server will will start running once you start the application. And that will that's like a uh, background server which require which always listens to incoming communications uh, on port three seven two six five. Application is the main application which which is intended to be tested. There's there are communications happening between the application and the HTTP framework, uh, Calabash framework, but these are tightly coupled, so there's nothing much to worry about these two. 
okay the most important part is this HTTP request going to this Calabash server and getting the HTTP response so this is essentially two-way communication uh, so this we don't need to do anything much about testing this or checking this the only thing we should do is this proper communication happening between um, our uh, machine and the device to be tested so these things will go through only when you have a proper channel through for them so they should be on the same yeah when it's a simulator you essentially don't have this problem but when you're running on the device you should make sure that both of them both the device and the mac machine both are on the same network they should be able to ping between them and whatever uh, yeah you should be able to ping from the ip of the uh, device yeah from mac to the device ip okay and okay this is the feature file this is the step definition and we have seen that there's communication happening between these two and HTTP requests are gone and response is received yeah this is uh, almost the whole overview of uh, how Calabash is organized and what the uh, yeah what the, what the communication is happening and uh, to be understood uh, before starting the Calabash so this will go in as part zero of Calabash IOS setup thanks for thank thanks for watching my video uh, if you like my video just leave a like and also subscribe to my channel thank you have a nice day ahead